we have four chords E minor C major 7 G6 and this large F sharp or just F sharp we call this shade number 4 okay so let's break it down the first one is called E minor so to find E minor chord what you need to do you need to position your first finger on the second fret fifth string okay so one two and this is first finger so second fret fifth string second finger is going on the second fret fourth string okay and this is our e minor chord and we play this chord from the sixth string everything down so all six notes if you are not sure how to play some of the chords how to position the fingers check one of my videos on my website guitarcouch.com and um you will learn all necessary skills in there okay so E minor chord let's have a look one more time first finger is going on the second fret fifth string second finger is going on the second fret fourth string and we play this chord from the fifth string down okay so this is our first chord E minor next chord will be C major 7 so look easy way to find C major 7 from E minor is to do something like this drop this finger down so now my first finger is going on the um second fret fourth string okay so from e minor you just drop this down here and then you put your second finger on the third fret fifth string okay this is c major seven and we play this chord from the fifth string down everything like this okay if you hit by accident the sixth string it's fine okay just for now try to remember some of the chords in some of the chords you shouldn't play all strings some of the chords are limited to just certain number of the strings okay so one more time let's go back to our c major seven chord so first finger is going on the second fret fourth string and the second finger is going on the third fret um fifth string okay and we play this chord one more time from the fifth string c major seven this is how it sounds so now we've got two chords so let's try to learn how to change between them okay so let's go back to e minor so I've got my E minor chord here, okay, and now look, to go to C major 7, what you need to do, you drop this finger down and you put this one up there, okay, so like this, E minor, first finger, second fret, fifth string, second finger, second fret, fourth string, this is E minor chord, and now to go to C major 7, you drop this finger down, from here down here, and you put this one here on the third fret, fifth string, this is C major 7. Okay, so what you need to do, or what you may to do, you may try to just change between these two chords, okay, to um, train your fingers how to change between the chords. Make sense? Like this, just like this, okay? Take things slowly, okay? You don't have to rush. You can always stop this video, practice your chord changes, and you can always come back, okay? So we've got E minor so far and C major 7, okay? Now next chord, is G6. It's very easy. We literally take this shape and we bring this up. So look, C major 7 shape, both fingers are going up. Okay? So let's find this chord on its own. So to play G6 chord, you need to position your first finger on the second fret, fifth string, and your second finger is going on the third fret sixth string okay and this is g6 chord and we play this chord from the sixth string down everything down like this excellent so we have three chords so far e minor c major seven and g6 so e minor chord we play from the sixth string c major seven from the fifth string we strum down and g6 from the sixth string again the last chord in this group is something which we call this large F sharp. It's part of the bigger chord like this, but um, it will be a bit too complicated for you. This chord now will be called this large F sharp. So we just remove this part here and we keep this finger here. And we've got F sharp note here because um, every time you put, you change the position of the finger here on the neck, the names are going to change. So this is E. When you play first fret on the sixth string, this is F. And when you play the second fret, it, this is called F sharp, okay? This stuff may be confusing again. You need to check some of the previous videos, some of the lessons, okay? And you gain necessary knowledge. Okay, great. 
So we've, we've got four chords. So E minor, C major 7, G6, and F sharp. So I'm going to just call them by numbers now. One, two, three, four. It's just easier. Okay, so chord number one, chord number two, number three, and number four. And one more time. One, two, three, and four. Easy? It's not as difficult as it looks. Okay, now look. To play the rhythm, we are going to hit each chord eight times. Literally eight times down, like this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now look, when I play this chord, I'm focusing mostly on the bass notes here, okay? I don't play too much like this. It might be a little bit too much, okay, when you add extra notes. So I just focus my attention mostly on the string 6, 5, 4 and 3, yeah? Like this. It gives you a nice sound, okay? So let's try this together, okay? Look, E minor chord, ready? And let's try this. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Let's try this one more time. E minor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we play this combination, um, this strumming on each of the chords. Okay. So when you go to C major seven, it'll be exactly the same thing. I'm going to play eight times on this chord also. But this time I'm trying to target my fifth string. Okay. I try to avoid hitting the 6th string, although if you are a beginner and you hit this string by accident, it's fine, don't worry. Just try not to hit this. Okay, ready? So C major 7 now, and you're going to play 8 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Next chord is G6. The same shape, just up. And again, the same strumming. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we go back to the, sorry, we go to last chord, F sharp, or chord number four, and we play this again eight times. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is how it sounds. So now look, when I combine all these chords together and I play eight times on each chord, it will sound like this. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay, and this is our zombie song, now look, it's, um, it looks easier than it is um, in reality, if you want to play these chords, it's pretty tricky, um, it's pretty tricky to change the chords between, let's say, E minor to C major 7 to G6 and F sharp, so maybe what you want to do, if you can't play this up to speed with me right now you may at home practice you know for a few days just changing the chords and then once you feel good with this you may always um you may always um come back to the video and try to play with me now the song okay so look, we're going to play our song we're going to play eight times on each chord and um now look even if you struggle just keep going okay with this hand look because if you keep going with this hand it will force this one to be more quicker look so even if it sounds like this, five, six, seven, eight, like this, it's fine. Try just to change the chords with me. It will force your fretting hand to be more uh, precise and be quicker, okay? This is one of the ways to practice the songs, okay? One of the ways is just, you know, isolating the chords. And second way is just trying to force your hand, you know, to follow uh, the picking hand, okay? So ready to try? Let's go eight times each chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. and again E minor. One, two, three, four. C major seven now. One, two, three, four, five, six. G six now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Two. And one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. Okay, so this is the.
chorus part. Now we've got also the verse part, and on the verse we've got exactly the same chords: E minor, C major seven, G six, and our fourth chord, D slash F sharp, or just F sharp in short. But we want to try to play this in a more interesting way, okay? So one of the ways to do it is by playing arpeggios. So we can play chord in two different ways. By strumming the chord or by playing arpeggios. So arpeggio is when you play the chord as a single note, okay? So you don't strum at once, you just play separate notes. This is arpeggio, okay? And the arpeggio that you're going to play here in the song is very, very easy. I just I'm going to play strings six, five, four, and then I strum down. So look, six, five, four. Yeah? Like this. Make sense? Six, five, four, strum. And now look, this is string number six, you need to remember, okay? And this is string number one. So six is here. So six, five, four, strum. Now when I do strum, it can be done from the fifth string, sixth string or from the fourth string, just, you know, something like this. We are using this basically as a filler. We want to fill the space with some nice sounding chord. Okay, so look, on the minor, it will sound like this. Okay, try this with me. One, two, three, four. Six, five, four, strum. One more time. Two, three, four. Six, five, four, strum. One more time. One, two, three, four. Six, five, four, strum. Excellent. Now we go to next chord, which is C major 7. You know this chord because you've learned this. And now on this chord, we try to play this chord from the fifth string. So look, I play 5, 4, 3 strum, okay? From the bass, if you play this from the sixth string, it will sound also all right. But I think it just sounds better when you play this from the fifth string because this is this chord is called C major 7 and the first note you're going to play is basically C note. So it's sort of in line with the chord names yeah makes sense so let's go to c major seven and you're going to play five four three strum ready one two three four five four three strum one more time two three four five four three strum next chord is g6 you've learned this also yeah this shouldn't be any problem with the chord and chord names okay by the way try to remember the names of the chords whenever you can, uh, because it will help you basically learn songs in the future. That said, this song is um, is a bit funny because the chords are quite unusual. Like, probably you will see C major 7 um, in the future. Sometimes you play C major 7 like this by playing normal C major chord and you um, lift up your first finger. It's just a different way of performing the same chords. It's sort of customized to our song. So. For sure, C major 7 is quite common chord. G6 is less common, okay? So you may not see this chord too often, and also this one. So try to definitely remember E minor and C major 7 because they are like very, very common chords. Okay? So um, now next chord we're going to play our arpeggio on is G6, okay? So we go to G6 chord, and we play, again, from the 6th string. So we play 6, 5, 4, strum, okay? 6, 5, 4, strum. And then last chord, D slash F sharp or just F sharp in short, which again just play this from the sixth string. Six, five, four. Okay, like this. So let's try how this chord sounds together when we play them. Okay, so let's start from the E minor chord. Ready? One, two, three, four. Six, five, four, strum. C major seven. Three, four from the fifth. G, six from the sixth string. And F sharp. The six. So now let's try to do it more in time. One, two, three, four. Next one. Now. Next one. And last one. And again. First one. Next one. Next one. And last one. Excellent. So now let's try to join together those two pieces, okay? So let's try to play two rounds of the strummings and then we are going to play our arpeggios and let's see how it's going to um, work together. Ready? So we are going from the strums. We start from the eight times down each chord. 
Ready one? Two. So remember, we've got exactly the same chords all the time. E minor, C major 7, G6, and F sharp. And all the time, the same thing, all the time. The only thing that's going to change is the way how we perform the notes. Ready? From E minor. One, two, three, four. Three, four, five, six. Next one. Next one. G6. F sharp. And again, back to E minor. C major 7, G6, F sharp, and now we're going to play arpeggios, ready, 1, 3, 4, next one, C major 7, G6, F sharp, excellent, so this is how it sounds together, now look, when I play this rhythm here, I try to sort of create, um, try to I try to create a bit more interesting way of performing this note. So I don't stay all the time on the bass notes here. I occasionally go down like this. Basically, what I do is like one, two, three, four. You can expand your picking motion here on the higher sounding notes. Look. And occasionally I may add strumming like So this is a bit more advanced version of the song. Um, you know, you need to study at first the strumming hand and how to perform properly um, the strummings before you'll be able to play this. Um, the way how I describe this, but it's just coming down to just simple physics, how to basically move your hand and how to apply the strummings.